Well, looky who we got here. If it is an old Mr. Final Four quarterback for the Cincinnati Bearcats, Desmond Ritter, thanks for coming on. Chris Sims, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you for having me. Great year. Congratulations, first off. That was really cool, you know. It was it was a fun ride for sure. Right. Have you been able to digest it yet a little bit and like realize what you did? You went into Notre Dame, beat their butt, you know, Golden Domers, did all that. I mean, have you been able to digest it? Uh, I haven't been able to digest much. Um, you know, it's kind of been quick moving over the past couple months, past six months, really. Yeah, right. Um, you know, maybe in maybe in about 15, 10 years, I might be able to look back on it and kind of take it all in. Um, but no, you know, it was an outstanding ride. Um, we had a great team, you know, a lot of great players who, you know, have propelled that program to where it is today. Um, and so we were just blessed to be a part of it. Um, and, and, you know, I think that Cincinnati team is going to make another run for it this year. Yeah. All right. I mean, it seems like it's in a good place. All right. So now talk about like you talk about like it's 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 a world win, right? I mean, the game's over and it's like right away. It's like, OK, it's NFL, it's agent and all this stuff. Kind of take us through the process and how it goes and like what you've been doing to this point now. Yeah. So obviously, um, I, you know, had the decision to, to either stay or, or right. leave last year. Um, and that's really when, you know, the, the majority of the agent stuff was going on. Um, and, you know, right when I was coming out or decided to come out or not, I narrowed my agent, you know, it was down to about three of them. Um, and then I decided to come back. And, you know, the NIL was a, a huge opportunity for college athletes at the time. Um, and I decided to stick with Vayner Sports. Um, and, and, you know, th that was my agent from NIL and to, to right now in the NFL. Right. Um, so, you know, the agent part of it w was pretty easy for me. Yeah. Um, it, it wasn't a huge distraction. Um, but, you know, right after the game, we're, we're looking out and, and booking flights. And, you know, it was like I could go out there and, and do a, a little media shoot for – um, about 24 hours, 30 hours after the game, and I was like, "Hold on." Yeah. I was like, "I need, I need at least 48, recharge. 72 right. hours. Let right. me go home. Let me pack." <laughs> right. Um, so you know, it, it came around real quick. I got out there about four days after the game ended. Yeah. Um, and just got to work. And where? Yeah. Where is it? Where'd you go? Yeah. So I'm out in Dana Point, California. Okay. Um, training with Jordan Palmer and yeah. three other guys. So. Okay. And uh, I just uh, we were just with uh, who that wasn't Howell. Uh, it was the Carson Strong. Carson. Yeah. So you're working with him a little bit. Yeah, so he, he's my roommate, um, yeah. and Chase Garbers and uh, Jared Garantano. Is that weird? All right. I'm not going to lie. If I was you and I was, like, in a competition spot with a guy, I'd be like, I, I don't want to f***ing room with these guys. Sorry. I don't want to room with them. I want to beat their ass every day. And I don't know if I trust myself in the house. I'd be like, I'd be like putting shaving cream in their shoes, like, you know, stuff in their stuff. Oh, they, they slept through meetings coach today. They're not here. I mean, it's gotta be a little weird. No, no, nah, it's not weird at all. You okay. know, we're all, we're all good <laughs> friends. Um, and you know, we all just get like to compete. Yeah. Um, and that's one, I mean, if, if you're not liking to compete, then you probably shouldn't be playing this game. Um, but you know, when we go out there and work, whether it's running or throwing, um, we're competing in everything that we do. Um, and then, you know, sometimes it brings, you know, the best out of yeah, a, a lot of I'm us sure. some of the times. I'm sure. Um, but, you know, and then, you know, each of us have had our bad days. We're right there to pick each other back up, um, let each other know that, you know, we got to go right back to work the next day. Well, that's cool. See, you're nice there. I wouldn't pick them up. I'd go, yeah, you suck today. I hope you <laughs> suck again tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I want to just experience this because this is something I haven't. I mean, I played some big time college football, but you're rolling through the year. You're undefeated. And he just, hey, we can't be beat. All right, and then you hit the buzzsaw, the great Alabama Crimson Tide. Talk about just being on the field with them and what that experience was like with, of course, the aura of Alabama and all the talent they have on the football team. Yeah, um, so, you know. You feel for, helpless for, almost? No, nah, I wouldn't say helpless, yeah. but, you know, for myself, you know, I might have had a different mentality than, you know, some of the other guys on my team. Um, but for me, it was just another team. Um, you know, they might have been a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Um, but at the end of the day, the football was put down and we were both playing football. It was 11 on 11, um, just with, you know, in a little bit bigger stadium, a little bit brighter lights, um, a little bit more people. Um, but but for me, it was it was football. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, they got some impressive dudes. That's all. I was just like, did you ever have a moment on the field where you're like, damn, look at that guy. Holy crap. All these guys. Out no, here. I never, never look at that guy. Yeah. But, you know, when my boss kept getting batted down a couple of times, yeah. I was like, OK, these uh, 300 pound guys can can kind of jump. Yeah. And they, yeah. they shouldn't really be able to do that. <laughs> um, so, you know, that, that's where you saw a little bit of the difference was up front. Right. Um, but other than that, you know, we liked our matchups outside, uh, you know, yeah. liked our guys on the outside and wanted to give them a chance. Got you. So, like, 2021, there was a lot of talk that you might come out then. You stay, you have the great year. I mean, you, you played awesome. 
Okay, so just you specifically now, like you know what you're doing with Jordan Palmer. What what are we trying to refine out there, like mechanics wise? Like nerd out with me a little bit, mm, quarterback stuff yep, here. So still footwork. Yeah. Um, and it's specifically turn at the top is what we call it. So throws to the left. Um, you know, not when we're throws short to the left or throws deep to the left, but that intermediate um, ten level. yard out. Yeah, ten curl yard out, out curl left. maybe flattening off a corner route. Right. Um, and so you know when we broke down my film from uh, the season before and, and the season before that. You know, that's where we saw a lot of my inaccuracies were, were right there to the left. Um, so being able to get our hips turned instead of my leg just kind of swinging open. You were like stepping in the bucket. Yeah. So you might have throw the ball there, but you're stepping, stepping over here. Stepping in the bucket, yep. Yeah, and, right. and starting from one spot and swinging my leg all the way over. Right. So instead, um, getting that crossover step turned, getting the hips all turned together um, to where our whole body's going over there and, and being able to drive. Turn into it and yep. all of that. Right. So that that's the big thing for you is those – Oh, those back shoulder, those backside throws for mm -hmm. a righty there, yep. getting the body in the right position so you don't just swing open and try to do it all with your arm. Yep, and then once we get that body in position, yeah. making say we're staying balanced and stable, right. um, especially in our weight transfer, we talk about under center a lot, obviously yeah. in the NFL. Um, making sure that when you when you drop back, you're not too far back or too far forward, um, and just staying even balanced and, and even kilter. What about now, like just release, arm angle, things like that? Do we talk about that a lot, or is there more of the uh, like, hey, if your feet are in the right place, everything else will fall into if place? If your feet, if you're, yeah. you said it right there, exactly. Yeah, if your right. feet are in the right place and, and you're balanced and stable, um, everything else will work itself out. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you get to that. Now I want to talk about like the NFL football a little. And I like to ask the quarterback because it's a bigger ball. It's definitely different. You can't manhandle it probably the way you could the college ball. Was it an adjustment? Do you like it? You know, are you used to it by now? Uh, no, I have big hands. So every time I've picked up an NFL football, I've wanted to throw it, you know, ever since I was in high school right. till, till obviously now. Um, you know, I felt like it was easier to throw than a college football. Yeah, um, I'm with you. And, and you know, there's something it's, about it. That something it is. about it that it's just easier to spin. Right. Um, you get them mudded up and, and gripped up right. It makes yeah. it really beautiful to throw. Right. Um, but you know, I've just been excited and, and obviously blessed. I have the opportunity to even be able to hold on to it and yeah. throw the football. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be doing it for a while. All right. All right, Johnny. Big hands. Let me see, because I got some big ones too. All right. Oh, it's, it's close. It's you close. Got longer damn fingers than me. All right, damn, you do have big hands. You're, so you tell the truth. All right, fine. Because I had one of the biggest hands, uh, you know, coming out yeah. my year. So you're gonna be probably. Let's see. I can't even remember. What, you're over ten. Yeah. Right. Like and, right at ten. Yeah. To, have 10 you been measured quarter? already? Yeah, down at the Senior Bowl. Senior Bowl, they got you. They're still doing it the way where they go pinky to yep. across, pinky, right? Pinky to. To, to the thumb, thumb there, yeah, right? So we might have to get a little massage, you know, right there before just to get the out. extra stretch it out. Just I'm to with get, you. Get you get the extra little inches. So. I'm with. You. I used to. I used to. And even in early my playing career, I used to like in like the off season and stuff. I would literally sit and watch like uh, basketball, mm -hmm. or you know, it's 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 February and palm the basketball. And I felt like then when I would grab the NFL football, I'd go, man, this thing feels small, small. and I can just rip it. Yeah, no right? different than going from a football to a baseball. But stretching, sense. exactly. Yeah. But stretching that thumb out, stretching that hand out. Um, all right, so now I just want to get into you a little bit. Growing up, you're, where, what high school did you go to in Louisville, Kentucky? St. Xavier. Saint, and, you were St. X. And I, I got to correct you, it's Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, I had to do it. It's all right, my dad's yeah. from there. I know, hey, I know even, all about oh. Louisville. You know, I know about it, all right? So <laughs> screw all your Louisville, 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 Louisville. Ugh, uh, shut up, okay? You sound like one of my damn family members sorry. over there. All right, Got so it. the great St. X, right? My dad went to Southern. Okay. You know Southern High yep, School? Southern High yeah, School. Yeah, I don't think they're worth a damn right. anything. Not not very much. <laughs> not really. But. I had a cousin that went to St. X, though, uh. so I know all about it. I actually went to a high school basketball game there once. All right, so coming out, just tell me a little bit, like, who was recruiting you and kind of how that went about. Yeah, so, you know, sophomore going into my junior year, um, not only was I, I trying to compete for a starting spot, but I was also, you know, trying to kind of pop on the radar a little bit. Yeah. Um, so for myself, um, I, I did the whole showcase tour of camps, you know, all around um, my local area, Louisville, Kentucky, Ohio State, Tennessee, West Virginia, um, and just schools like that. And so, you know, I went through that, went through the, the junior year season, didn't receive an offer through then. Um, and then it was like right after, you know, Christmas time, right around New Year's, um, when coaches could start coming to, you know, kind of come see you. Um, I, I had a flood of coaches come in, you know, from, from ACC to SEC to, to, to MAC schools. You know, it didn't really matter who it was um, just to come in to, to kind of get a look at me. Um, and, and, you know, none of them had pulled the offer. 
Um, and, you know, at that time, I think what it was, was about mid-March. Like, what were the answers you were hearing as far as why they wouldn't pull the offer? Hey, you know, one couples were, you know, we have another guy at the time. Others were, you know, we're still looking, still searching. Um, so, you know, I saw from every end of the book. Um, and then Cincinnati, Coach Rollins, who was a wide receiver coach at the time, um, who's now at uh, Southern Illinois. And uh, he came down to watch me throw one day, and he really liked me. Um, and then about a week later, he brought Coach Zach Taylor down. Um, he was a quarterback coach OC at the time. Yeah. Um, and three hours after that throwing session, um, that's when Coach Tuberville called me. Damn. All that work to get to – and now you're just crapping on everybody. Look yeah. what I'm doing here. I mean, that, uh, yeah, you're that was the pass, goal. You're going to pass on me. Um, yeah. You're probably going to pay for it. Yeah, so. good. I like that attitude. I definitely do. All right, growing up, like who's, who, who was your favorite quarterback and who, who are you, like, excited to see on the field, you know, in your rookie year in the NFL? Um, I would say, you know, Peyton Manning was, you know, my favorite quarterback. Kind of yeah. got me into football and especially the quarterback position right. growing up. Right. Um, you're so, supposed to say Louisville. You're from. You're supposed to say. You're from Louisville. You're supposed to say Phil Sims. Yeah, right? Right? I see him all the time on the board. Um, <laughs> Louisville. <laughs> but um, yeah. So you know, Peyton Manning was, you know, one of you know all time greats and, right. and the guy that I looked up to. Um, so being able this past summer to be able to go work in the Manning Academy, um, passing academy down there in yeah. Thibodeau, Louisiana, that That's was cool. a, uh, a cool experience. Right. Um, you know, one, not only to meet with them and his whole family, um, but to be able to go down there and work with the kids. Um, but, you know, for myself, um, you know, probably just excited to, to, to see Lamar in person just because, you know, I watched them all growing up. Um, so just kind of be able to hang with him, chill with him, get to know him on a personal level yeah. um, instead of just seeing him on the TV. Yeah. Um, but, you know, other than that, they're my enemies. So, um, <laughs> you know, when I step out on that field, um, you know, I'm going out there to play my game. And, um, you know, it's going to be exciting to see everyone. Yeah. But, you know, hopefully at the end of the game, I'm going to be in a happier state than they will be. Yeah, that's that's the goal always. All right, I mean, I, I you know, I never even thought about that. Yeah, you're in high school. Lamar is tearing it up, winning mm -hmm. the highs. And that was probably uh, left a big impression on you. Yeah. Um, um, what, oh, tomorrow, you're going to do everything? Everything, except bench press. Sex, but that's fine. Nobody yeah, gives a damn with the quarterback I bench press. I, you look like you got a little muscle anyway. Yeah, so I you're could good. definitely put that up a yeah, couple times. Not as many as me, but this is, you're uh, okay. I'd be close. <laughs> okay, what are you thinking? Like, Because you can take off. One thing I'm very impressed with, when you open up, you can go 60 yards to the house. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if it, like your acceleration, I would think, is the thing that you've had to work on, right? So what it like ballpark, 40, what are you thinking? Uh, sub four five. You I, thinking you can do that? That's a top. I would have said. Yeah. Uh, I would have thought. I'd be disappointed if it was anything over a uh, four five five. If you run four six, I am gonna dog you. If you, if I run four six, you can dog okay, me. Okay, good. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm gonna have fun, right. but I'm gonna dog you. It won't okay. be malicious. I'm just gonna dog you though. I'm gonna go. Damn, the guy let me <laughs> down. And then I'm gonna get you on my pod in a month, and we're gonna talk about and it. And I'm right? gonna tell you about all the slips and, and everything. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, have. right. Oh, my hamstring was tight that day. Oh yeah. Okay. Bullshit. Uh, all right. Thanks for spending some time with me man good luck all right had a, i had a lot of fun watching you in college yes sir thank you for having me see you buddy sir hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports